Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I have the Day Designer Mini to share with you. So I have already made videos and I have the full size Day Designer. These are the flagship Day Designer. And now I got a mini from them and I'm so excited to be able to show you the mini and do a size comparison with the full size. I wanted to show you the packaging that Day Designer comes in because it is beautiful. If you are gifting or if you are just getting it for yourself, it feels like a gift when you're getting it. And that is always fun when you're buying a planner. Here is the box it comes in. Normally though, this box does get a shipping label on it because my big one did when they sent that to me. They were just sending it in a bigger box with other stuff for me to review also. And so this box did not get a shipping label on it which was so exciting for me because I just think it's beautiful and I'm gonna use it to store something in. I love storage boxes like this for my closet. So it's slick, it's beautiful, it's made just, it's a really nice box. Look at the inside of that. So if you were sending this as a gift, it looks like a gift already. No packaging necessary. All right, inside this beauty, so here is this beautiful box line in gold like that and the day designer emblem there and it's just beautiful all around so there's your box you guys can tell i get very impressed by packaging boxes that i can reuse all right then it comes in this beautiful white box the only thing on it is on the side it tells you what you have right there your planner it tells you that it's the indigo tile and it has the day designer emblem then you pull it out like a drawer. So this is a really nice box to store, keep and store your planner in or store cards or your kids like school programs and stuff like that in. All right, so it comes in this box, but it comes in bubble wrap and plastic. So it's really well wrapped. I just already took all that noisy stuff off and you can see the inside of the box is lined in aqua blue. So it's beautiful. Then you, let's take out our mini and look at it. There's your box. Like I said, if you don't want to restore your planner in it when you're done with your planner, it can be used for so many other different uses. Don't throw away these boxes. I mean, you can also use them for storage of pens, markers, colored pencils. Even if you don't want to stick it back inside this big top, it can slide in a drawer and hold, like kind of be a drawer divider like that if you didn't want to use the top with it. So lots of different options there. This is the Day Designer Mini and I picked the Indigo Tile, which I think is just beautiful. If you follow me, you know I love navy and gold and I think this is my favorite, second favorite planner cover ever of any planner. My first favorite planner cover was a Fancy Floral, a Simplified Planner. And that still is number one, but this is a very close second because just the colors are, they scream to me, they're me. So I'm in love with this indigo tile. Then you get a card with every day designer. If you go on Instagram and you snap a photo and you do their hashtag, you can have a chance to win your day designer for free. They'll refund you the money if they, they pick one each month, which is a really cool thing. And then you have another little card from day designer, just telling you kind of about their planning system breaking it down into today and to do, your focus, your alignment, inspiration, big picture, reminders. So it's breaking their system down for you. And just some more information from them. How to take care of your planner and such. But what I find is honestly their planners hold up really well from the big full size one I've had. And I haven't had any problems with needing to be extra gentle or anything like that. I mean, I think as long as you're someone who doesn't throw your book around, but definitely read those instructions on care of your planner. They're helpful tip. I got my information here, and something I want to note for you guys is Day Designer always matches their inside cover color, your inside like pocket and end page color to your outside cover. So it's a different color for every planner, and I love that because it coordinates with your planner. And it's just, it's another nice touch because most of the time my planner is like this on my daily planner, on my table next to me. So I only get a touch of the pattern and then the inside color. So I like how it coordinates like that. 
and it looks pretty even when it's open like this, which is how mine is most of the time. This year, this is new. So you get some gold stickers, gold and white stickers, which are really pretty. Definitely can be used in functional planning. You know, little flags, hexagons, you know, appointment reminder markers, little stars and hearts. And so you get two pages of the same stickers with each planner order, which I think is really nice. It's a nice new touch. And they just fit really well in this pocket if you want to keep them in the pocket always. Or if you don't, um, then you can keep them somewhere else. All right, this is what the back of their planner looks like. You get your beautiful cover. You, of course, have your gold tabs on the edges, corner protectors, and then you have their little day designer emblem right there. It's beautiful front and back. You guys can tell I'm in love with this color, and I am actually in love with the mini size, you guys. I'm in love with the mini. We're gonna go through the whole mini and then we will do a size comparison at the end. I also have written an entire page in the mini and I will compare it to the full size day designer. Also, so you start out with a nameplate page and my word for the year. And this is something new coming with day designer also. It is a ruler, page marker. It comes with plastic on it, you remove. So it's nice and clear. It is, it's very lightweight, but I really like the look of it because it's really classy looking just sticking out the today. It, it functions really well. Looks like the pop-in clips are gonna hold up and it flips well. I think it's a nice touch that they're giving a ruler with their planner now because they've not, they have not done that before. There's a little letter from Whitney English, who was the cre uh, the founder of the Day Designer. We have some stuff here about how to use your Day Designer and purpose pages. So talk about planning with a purpose, the result, a well-designed design life, other available resources. Then you have um, a table kind of to fill out, a chart, my reality check. And it goes through different parts of your life and how much time you want to spend there, how much money you want to spend there and really thinking about where you wanna spend your resources in your life. And then it gives you um, this, your core values right here. And that's figuring out where your strengths and your passions lie, and that's called your core values and where you wanna spend your time. They're gonna walk you through all those steps right there. Then you have my heart goals, so how to figure out your goals, and your plan, how to turn those goals into intention. I think it's a really well-designed system for laying out your goals and following through. Then you have a calendar to map out your ideal month. So it's kind of like an ideal schedule and an ideal weekly schedule. So kind of ideally, what do you want your month and your weeks to be looking like? And then you have a full look ahead at your 2019 year and your 2018 year, year at a glance, because this is the academic. It starts in July and ends in June, so 2018 to 2019. But they actually gave you all the June planning pages for free. So you can actually start in June of 2018. It starts June 1, 2018. You just don't have a monthly spread for June. But they have given you all your daily spreads for June, so you can start a month early. And then your monthly spreads start in July. So that's pretty cool, because you get a whole, you can start a whole month early. Okay. So after your year at a glance, so your goal planning is all at the beginning, you start right in to your daily pages. And like I said, they're giving you a month here free of starting in June. And this is where I filled out a page to compare it to the full size day designer. And we will get to that. But I just want to run over the basic layout for those that are not familiar with day designer. Here's your basic page layout. You have a blank margin at the top. So you could be writing in someone's birthday, anything big that's happening that day, you know, in your life, whatever you need up there. Like that's kind of like your headline for the day. Then you always have a quote on your day designer pages. You, your date is in the top right or left corner, depending on the page sign that you're on. And it is like written as Thursday, June 7th, 2018. And it is pretty small up there, but that's what it looks like. And then you can see a close-up, when I held it up for that, of your page layout. You have your top three, 
for every day, which I absolutely love. I love having, I kind of call those my action items. I get that from Get to Workbook. And those are like the three things that have to happen that day, that absolutely have to happen. Then you have a do box, a dinner box, a dollars, and a don't forget box. You can use those for whatever you need. Whatever's due that day, what are you having for dinner, dollars spent that day, or whatever you're keeping track of, and a don't forget box. Then you have your appointment times or your schedule um, for those who do time blocking and such laid out from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And that's a little bit different than the full size. This is the mini. You get some more time in the full size, and I'll show that. Then you have your to-dos laid out with tick boxes. Then you have your notes box and a daily gratitude at the bottom. So that is how all your daily pages are laid out. The weekends are laid out Saturday and Sunday are together on a page. They are vertical. You have a top three for each day. So it says Saturday and Sunday together here at the top. You can see, I'm trying to get it right there. And then you have your top three for each day. You have seven to seven again, but I personally would just be using this as um, not as a time appointment slots on the weekend. I would just be listing like what we need to get done. If we had any appointments, those would probably go at the top for me. So you just kind of have to figure out how you would need to use that on the weekends. And then perhaps one of my very favorite features in Day Designer and is very rare to find in a daily planner is a look at your next week, Monday through Sunday. So it's kind of like your week at a glance when you're on Saturday and Sunday, you can fill in your major appointments or major things for the next week and kind of just get a look at it like, okay, that's, that's what that week is looking like while you're sitting on your weekend. You could also use that for meal planning. So it could be used, you know, a lot of different ways. I would be using it for my kind of week at a glance appointments, big stuff type of thing. And then after your Saturday and Sunday, you just go right back into your Monday. Let's look at a monthly spread. When your month ends, if it doesn't need to end, it depends on how many days are in the month. If it ends on the left side of the page, then you do get a notes page before your next month starts. If it, so this one ended on the left side, you get another notes page. Okay, September you get one. In December, you don't have a notes page. Start Well, in November, because you're starting December. Because November ends on the right side of the page, so you don't have that notes page on your tabbed page. So it just kind of depends. See, you don't have a notes page there going into January. You do have one for February. So your notes pages, you do not necessarily have one every month. You don't have one there. It's sporadic based on, you know, how many days were in that month before and which side of the page that month ended on. So that's good to know that there are some note pages, but not one every month. You have a huge margin at the top of your Day Designer monthly calendar. Your month is written really big, and then this is something that's different than many planners, in the U.S. at least. You have a Monday start for your week. Some people love that change, um, and some people do not. So that is something to note. Then your weekend days are together, Saturday, Sunday, and they have some very, very light grayed out lines on them, which I think is nice. I like how it kind of blocks your weekend off and it stands out to you that those are your weekend days. I like how that's blocked off. Now, in my daily planners, I don't actually use my monthly spreads because my daily planners are not for advanced planning. I always use a weekly planner in conjunction with my daily and so my daily planning is just basically for my daily to-do list and no advanced planning gets done in it. And therefore I don't even use my monthly spreads. And I've seen someone suggested that if you don't use your monthly spreads like me in your daily planner, because you're using it in conjunction with a weekly or for whatever reason, you can use your daily spreads to maybe track your goal for your goal tending. So that if you did all those goal worksheets at the beginning. So that is actually a great idea or for like habit tracking since you can see it a month at a glance and where in a daily planner you know you can't really see a habit tracker day by day by day so that would be great for you know tracking your goals tracking your habits if you don't need to use it as your like appointment spread so that's why 
It doesn't bother me at all that it's a Monday start because I don't use use that monthly spread in a daily. Also, I will say this, Monday start is something you can get used to. I got used to it in Passion Planner and I've gotten used to it in Hobonichi, but it's hard to go back and forth, I will say that. So if you're switching to one, at least for my brain, I need to like stay in that mode or else I really mess up my planning. In, in those planners, I did use Monday starts on my monthly calendar. Though That is what your day designer is like. And we did not note this. Your holidays are noted on your pages with a little flag. I kind of like that. It makes it stand out. They're also noted like that on your monthly spread. So you can see your little flags. That's your holiday. And then what holiday it is, is written down there at the bottom. And you have a little half flag there for New Year's Eve when you have a half box. That's what your holidays look like. They are all written out, planned out for you. And they are also written on your daily days like I showed you with the little flag. When you get to the end, you just have one notes page and then that's it. That's the end. It goes through the end of uh, June 2019. So that's your academic daily day designer. This is the mini. It feels very portable to me. I'm gonna tell you the dimensions and everything. I'm gonna get out the big day designer and we're gonna do that comparison. And I forgot to mention pen test and pricing. So let's go into that. The full size is $59. The mini is $49. They both have 90 GSM white paper. So it is, it's, it's white, clean, crisp looking. Now 90 GSM equates to 60 pound paper. Many want to compare it with the simplified planner. The Simplified Planner has 70 pound paper. Day Designer has 60 pound paper or 90 GSM. But Day Designer paper is amazing for me. I have absolutely no problem with it. You do not have any major ghosting. And I have actually used Day Designer, the big one, to plan and I will flip through there and show you guys. And I don't have any issues with ghosting or anything with the paper. So for me, the paper is great. Let's go over the dimensions here. But these are the page dimensions in your small mini. The page is six inches by eight, about eight inches. I'm not giving you the points. It's six inches by 8.125. And then your page in the big full size is 7.3 by 9.5. So six by eight basically and 7.3 by 9.5. Those are your dimensions. If you wanna know the outside dimensions, those are all listed on the Day Designer site. The weight on these, they listed them on the Day Designer site, so I did not weigh them. I'm going by their weights, is two and a half pounds, so 2.5 pounds and 1.7 pounds. And I will tell you that over half pound difference makes a huge difference in how portable it feels huge to me. I just wanted you to think about, do you need it more portable and do you not need quite as much page room or do you need all the page room and you don't mind it being a little bit heavier? It has the exact same page layout. Here's a page that I've written the exact same information on, planning out a pretend day, the last day of school, because that's coming up. I was thinking about what we would have on that day and I wrote all that stuff down. You can just tell that your boxes are smaller here. You're, you get a little bit more room. Okay, on this side, you have 17 to-do boxes. On this side, you only have 13 to-do boxes. On the big one, you have 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. On the small one, you have 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Your note section is, of course, bigger, and your gratitude is, of course, bigger, and all your little boxes. It's just all a little bit more room. You have the exact same layout. You have your margin at the top. You still have your quote. Everything's the same. It's just a little bit smaller. Basically, that's it. So let's look at pen test. That's kind of on a weird page. We'll look at the pen test on this page. There is all my writing on this page and that is not from the back. That's actually from my ink when I closed my book and it was still wet on this side. Um, that's my ink smearing, but that's what it looks like with the whole page written on. I do not see any major ghosting. Like I said, I've always been happy with their paper. Here are some pages where I really planned a lot, where I did some real planning in here. Let's take a look. I had absolutely no problems 
that's with a ton of writing and highlighters and everything on there. So here's some more real planning pages in here from me and you can see. So I've used it quite a bit and I do still feel when I turn to a new page that it looks clean and ready for me. Like that's a full page written on the back there. I am very happy with their paper. I, I actually really like the layout of their planner and I think for me, I would choose the mini. Everyone has to make this choice for themselves. This is why, unless I was having a super busy days, like maybe in the summer, I would choose the full size. And that's only because I have more time in my day to get stuff done. During the school year, since I homeschool one of my kids and my other son is in public school, I do not have time to get too many things done. So if I list too many things, it just becomes a problem. If I have more space, it just makes me think I can list more and I can't actually get that stuff done. So that's my reasoning. Everyone's life is so different and what season you're in and you just really have to think about which one works for your season. So I think the smaller page size, even though I'm kind of a big messy writer, works for me because I won't overfill it. But then in the summer, when I have a lot more time on my hands, I might use the bigger one. So you just, you really have to think what your day entails. And if you like to write really big, if you actually like to list every task out that you do, you know, like laundry, I don't know, just every little thing. And so you're going to be crossing out a lot of tasks and you're going to need more room for all those tasks, then you might want the bigger for sure. If your planner is only staying at home like mine does, and you just want to make sure you have enough room, then you probably want the bigger. If you need to throw it in a backpack or a bag every day, then you probably want the smaller. But if like the bigger is staying at your office all the time to just be your work planner only, then you probably want the bigger. It just, you need to go back and forth and think about all those things. Love Day Designer. It is a great planner. It's held up great for me. I've always enjoyed my time using it. That's what a day looks like planned out. And then I wanted to plan a weekend day for you guys because I also wanted you to see how the weekend would kind of come out. And then I will stack these books and show you their size difference that way. But here are two weekend pages. I just took a Saturday and listed out some stuff that we did on a recent Saturday. This is how my next week looked ahead. So that's kind of how it looked. I can write pretty much horizontally in these bigger boxes these boxes, I kind of just needed to turn and write almost vertical. So I would probably just write all the way vertical. They're smaller, but you can still fit in your week. So that's what a weekend page looks like and your next week planned out. Now I want to stack these up for you guys. And actually, the more I'm, I'm loving the ruler, the more I see it. And although it's not real heavyweight, I think it'll do great to turn to the page you're on. And it looks really classy, really nice. I like that they've added that in there. Okay, so this is my calendar year full-size day designer. And this is the mini, and it's the academic year. Just to let you guys know, like, this cover is not available in the academic year. But here is your size difference. They are flush at the bottom, even if it doesn't look like they're flush, just because of the camera angle, I guess. They are flush right here at the bottom with each other. And so this is a size difference that you're looking at. That is your size difference. Everybody always wants to know how does a simplified planner size measure up to these. And I will be doing a whole review, a new one, because I have an old comparison of Day Designer and Simplified Planner. When my new 2018-19 academic Simplified Planner arrives, I will be doing, which should be any day now, a review on the new Simplified Planner and compare it to the Day Designer, because my review is old on that, but I do have that up. But everyone wants to know how these sizes stack up. The Simplified Planner is in the middle of these two books. So they are all flush at the bottom. They are flush right here. And then this is your size difference. On the sides, they're the exact same width, the Mini and the Simplified. And so you just have, it's a little bit taller. The Simplified is just a little bit taller. Not a huge difference. And they are the exact same width. Mini and the um, Simplified are very, very similar in size. But I will do a whole review comparison when my new Simplified arrives. So that's, that's gonna be a different video. I really wanted you guys to get a sense of this so you could 
see the sizes because I've had a lot of questions on that and I was so grateful when Day Designer sent me this many so that we could do the comparison because that's just a question that comes up a lot. And before we go here, I will show you the pages once again, kind of stacked on top of each other. You know, how much page space does it look like you're losing? Okay, it's flush at the bottom. Now you can't exactly tell because the planner comes out, you know, pretty far past the page. But that's your comparison. And like I said, they have all their stats online. So the page difference in the big, I'll say again, the page in the big is 7.3 by 9.5. It's just a teeny bit over your typical 7x9 planner, the page. Now your cover is bigger than that, but the page itself is 7.3 by 9.5, so just a little bit over your typical 7x9 planner. Your mini page is 6 by 8.1. So that's your difference. I hope I did a decent job showing you guys so you can make an educated decision on which one is best for you right now in your life. Let me know down below if you've used Day Designer and what your favorite thing about them is. Share your thoughts with me. I would love to hear them. All right, thanks for joining me. Happy planning, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.